specifically glycine, dopamine, and serotonin receptors. Okay. Did you know, research indicates that fine arts education has overwhelming benefits, especially in the formative years of children, critically impacting brain development. Artistic experiences impact brain development, especially the prefrontal cortex, the area of your brain responsible for higher order thinking and motor skills. Hey, this is Lance McGowan with Essential Oils Me, and we're going to talk about how does frankincense essential oil and this other oil affect your brain? Well, it all starts when we're younger, but there's things that we can do to help us as teens, young adults, adults, and even seniors. With that being said, to power your brain, it needs glucose from the carbs or sugar you eat, and your blood is what carries it there. The blood-brain barrier is the filtering mechanism between your circulating blood and your brain that stops damaging substances from reaching brain tissue and cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF. A common misconception is that all small molecules cross your blood-brain barrier. However, an astounding 98% of small molecules made from synthetic or man-made ingredients, hashtag doTERRA compliance, okay, cannot, and I repeat, cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. Dr. William M. Partridge, an expert in blood-brain barrier research, that's not some alliteration, blood-brain barrier, the three Bs, three B, okay. He determined that the development of new synthetic options for the brain has not kept pace with progress in the molecular neurosciences because the majority of new synthetic options do not cross the blood-brain barrier. The ability to cross the blood-brain barrier is essential for solutions of brain-related health priorities. Keyword essential, which we'll get into shortly. Chemical constituents known as sesquiterpenes commonly found in essential oils. Okay, there it came, full circle. Such as frankincense, which I need to go get right now. <laughs> Boom, okay, right here. Here it is, some Frankie. And sandalwood, okay, yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm, yeah, zoom in, zoom out. These are known to be able to go beyond your blood-brain barrier. But keep in mind, not all essential oil brands are created equal. But check out my other videos on these oils right here. And my other videos on quality to find out exactly why. Therefore, sesquiterpenes can directly interact with your brain cells. Unlike most synthetic options you get at the store or elsewhere and can impact your brain therapeutically. In fact, sesquiterpenes are known to interact with neurotransmitter receptors, specifically glycine, dopamine, and serotonin receptors. Okay. Speaking of the brain, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the YouTube channel called Bianca's Course. Bianca is a music teacher that loves working with children, especially in the area of brain development. Bianca has a 366 day creative challenge where she'll create daily videos based on this content. Make sure to check out her channel with the link in the description below to learn more. Well that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the like button if you did. Share this video with somebody that would benefit from it and most importantly check out those links in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on about Frankie or frankincense, sandalwood, hey now, and the brain.